Next principle is admitting your mistakes. Admitting your mistakes. So all of a sudden, I've met all these people. I met a lot of people. Some, one, actually, one of the uh, guys that I met and, and, and used money with and got to know, and he eventually became my friend, is one of the people who's going to speak here, I believe. Journey Soprano is going to speak here. Isn't that true, Morton? Yeah. Anyways, so it's just a proof. I used money. I spent money on, on, on learning from people. I went to seminars you know, in LA. I went and met people. Uh, who in here comes from the pickup community? Very good. And I'm not going to tell that story. So admitting your mistakes, I thought I was really good at what I did. And I decided, well, I want to create some products. I want to create some service and do some stuff. So what did I do? I did these uh, academies. And one thing is, when I look back at it, I was not proud of what I did. I didn't feel it was good. I just had this vision that it should be really cool, but I just wasn't proud. And I really fucked up in one sense, objectively. But when I look at it, it's the best thing that could happen in my life. Like Neil Spohr says, you know, you're an expert when you've done all the mistakes there is in the field, in one narrow field. And I did that, right? I, I didn't deliver, I felt like, and I did it a couple of times actually because there were many mistakes. I learned, I got a team, I had 10 people working with me, and also that, and you know, in the time I have like had 25 people working with me or something like that, and I just did all these mistakes. And um, <clears throat> yeah, I admitted it. At some point I got my shit together and said, you know, okay, let's look at it. You see this, a lot of people, they blame. A lot of people blame other people for a lot of stuff. Stop blaming people. Stop blaming anybody. Stop blaming. Forget about it. See, blaming doesn't get you anywhere. Oh, he's an idiot because he didn't, he didn't come on time. Okay, so what, man? Get your shit together. Focus on what you want. Don't focus on what you don't want. So if you can write this down, stop blaming people. Like, period. Negativity, this is a cool one. At least I think it's really cool. Negativity comes from blame. The only way you can feel negative is by blaming, unconsciously or consciously. Think about it for a second. Oh, why does this not work? Or how, oh, he didn't come on time. Oh, oh shit. Consciously, you're just blaming. Oh, life is not good. If I just had, you know, just blaming, 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 blaming. All kind of negativity comes from blaming. Stop blaming. Take responsibility. And my mission for you here is pick an area of your life. Write this down. Pick an area of your life, one area of your life that you feel you have a tendency to blame other people in. Just one area. Maybe it's your job, maybe it's your emotions, your happiness, something. And then, you know, write the following words big on your computer. I am responsible. I am responsible. Like, is there someone who has the guts or courage to say, put their hand up, please, and tell me if they are not happy with their life? Like, honestly, is there someone who has the guts to do that? Anyone? Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Very good. Big of you. Now, the only person to blame is yourself. The only person to blame is yourself. Yeah, but what about if something happened, there was war? Viktor Frankl was in a... He, he wrote the book, uh, Man... Uh, sorry, what was the book called? I forgot it. Now, Man Search for Meaning. That's what it's called. Yeah. So Viktor Frankl wrote this book. He was, he was a psychiatrist of some kind, and he was in this Nazi concentration. He was about to die. He's the one who, who reinvented the word uh, proactive. What that, does that mean? That means taking responsibility, in short. He's the one who invented it. He was in a fucking Nazi concentration. Unless you are in a Nazi concentration right now, and even if you were, you can't blame anybody. Take it on your own. He said, I want to find meaning with my life. I want to make sure that nobody's going through this again. He did that. He went out. He wrote books on it. became famous on that. Good. He came out almost. He was like seeing people dying in front of me. Almost did, died himself. Like horrible, horrible, horrible experiences. Right? Take responsibility. Don't let your past control you. Oprah, she got raped when she was 9 and 14. She was the first black billionaire in the world. The first black billionaire in the world. Right? She took it as her purpose. You know, I'm going to take responsibility of my life. Okay, what happened? I can't do anything about it. But I am going to decide how to respond. That's cool. Okay? So, write that on big. I am, I am responsible. Put it out somewhere. On your bathroom. Somewhere, man. You know? 